Hello everyone, welcome to Sam's Science View channel. In today's video, we are going to listen to a science fact How to grow and care for Heliconia prostrata So before getting into the video, please watch this entire video and if you have any science related queries, you can comment about it and get it rectified through this channel. Now let's get into the video. Heliconia prostrata is a beautiful flowering shrub that can rise up to great heights. The tree is also known as a hanging lobster claw or false bird of paradise locally. They are native to El Salvador, Peru, Bolivia, Colombia, Venezuela, Costa Rica and Ecuador. So that is uh, it is in South American regions. Additionally, the species has been and naturalized in Puerto Rico and South Asia. This perennial plant comes from the family of Heliconias that has over 50 different species. However, the prime difference between other varieties is that the flowers in Heliconia rubstrata are in downward positions as you can see it in the picture it grows uh, downwards heliconia rosetta have a long body and tend to become bushy they have broad and long leaves that rose from the ground flowers on heliconia rosetta hang from the base of the leaves and have a bright red color these plants also act as host flowers to hummingbirds. The flowers bloom in a trailing line with each petal appearing on the other side of the main flower stem. The tips of the petals are colored a bright yellow. This is a very common tropical plant that is kept by gardeners. This plant belongs to Heliconia genus, which comprises nearly 200 species of flowering plants in tropical America as well as certain islands in the western Pacific. This genus belongs to the monotypic family Heliconiaceae. So this plant or native to El Salvador, as I said, it is uh, mostly in South America and in Puerto Rico and South Asia and this plant grows well in full sun but prefers a spot with partial shade when grown in hotter climates. All in all, even during hotter days it can tolerate full sun. When fully mature, this plant can grow up to 4 to 6 feet tall and 3 to 6 feet wide. The leaves are large and leathery and can grow up to 4 feet in length. Attached to long petioles, these leaves directly grow from the plant's rhizomatous root stalk. The large leathery leaves are dark green in color and these plants are uh, tropical plants that cannot tolerate cold temperatures. Temperatures below 50 degree Fahrenheit send these plants into dormancy until temperatures rise up and stay consistently warm. Usually, Heliconia rostrata does not need much pruning as it shapes itself and the leaves are long fronds, so trimming them is not desirable. When you do remove a leaf, make sure to remove it completely. If your uh, plant has many leaves obstructing the view of flowers entirely remove the obstructing leaves so this is a fast growing plant that can gain a full height of up to six feet in a few months however the growth rate can vary greatly based on the soil type temperature sunlight and other factors the flowers of this plant are followed by fleshy round fruits that come in dark blue fruits. So this is a plant that is rather easy to grow. 
they are naturally found in many countries around the world and grow in abundance even without much care these plants are more or less hardy and won't require a lot of care like many other flowering plants if you are planning to have a heliconia rostrata tree at home here are some care tips to help you grow them so if you need to grow it you take care of it because it doesn't require more uh, care first one you have to see to the soil requirements this plant can be grown in a variety of soils if you are making a potting mix you need to use normal garden soil fine wood mulch and peat moss make sure the potting mix is draining well so that there is no water logging around the roots if the soil is too clayey the roots will rot due to water damage you can also plant this directly in the soil for best results second is water requirements watering this plant is an absolute essential the plant loves to grow in moist soil so you need to water them at least every other day avoid over watering if the top soil has not dried up yet you can also water less frequently during the rain and winter months third you require the sunlight this plant needs full sunlight for best growth however if you live in extremely hot weather you can plant them in partial shade the plant thrive well in plenty and moderate sunlight so placing them against the sun won't be an issue at all now let's see what are the benefits of this heliconia rostrata this plant is mostly grown as an ornamental plant their rich hues make it a great collection among the tropical plants and adds glamour to gardens however this also comes with several health benefits that make it even more valuable for people extracts from the plant have been used in folk medicine to cure illnesses like hypertension infection and jaundice so you can cure the, the diseases using the extracts first uh, we can see the health benefits of this firstly the antimicrobial and antibacterial properties this plant is said to have uh, this antimicrobial properties that can help cure a variety of illnesses it helps maintain gynecological health by inhibiting yeast infection additionally the plant can help fight against disease causing bacteria and avoid infections in the system second the anti ophidic property the anti ophidic property of this plant makes it an excellent cure for jaundice the rhizome of the plant is used to treat the disease and patients have experienced decreasing symptoms after a few days third it regulates blood pressure according to folk medicine this heliconia rostrata can be consumed to balance blood pressure levels in the body it has the ability to stabilize blood pressure levels and cure problems like hypertension this in turn helps in keeping the heart healthy in the long run fourth it relieves pain and ache the anti inflammatory properties of this plant can be extremely beneficial in relieving pain and aches in the body when applying topically medicines made using the plant extracts will do wonders on swelling and inflammation The antibacterial property of the plant also helps in bringing down infection and provides relief from pain. So it is usually used as an ornamental plant which is highly valued as an ornamental plant for its eye catching brackets making it an ideal choice for tropical gardens and landscapes. And the second use is that it is a cut flower The striking brackets are commonly used in flowering arrangements and tropical themed bouquets. 
and thirdly it is a wildlife attraction the nectar rich brackets attract hummingbirds and other pollinators enhancing biodiversity in the garden and the fourth use is that it helps in erosion control the extensive root system and clumping habitat of this plant make it effective for controlling soil erosion on slopes and river banks so how to take care of it this plant is that you can take care of it in a very easy manner you can simply use a well drained potting mix and water them every day for best growth so you can think that uh, this plant is poisonous no it is not a poisonous plant parts of it is are edible and are used to make some medicines and do this plant require the sun preferably it requires sun but uh, if you have a semi shade that is more or less enough they more or less survive in both conditions if you have more sunlight or semi shade it can grow well so also some medical facts about it is that if you grow this plant uh, near the water rich uh, soil it uh, absorbs all the salt content which is uh, bad in it and it gives away the uh, water table in the ground to be maintained so you can plant this uh, heliconia roseata in your home and you can uh, experience about it and you can comment about it that's it for today's video i hope so you got some scientific facts about how to grow and take care of this heliconia roseata plant so if you have any science related queries you can ask me and uh, we will meet in the next science fact treasury series until then it's goodbye from sam take care